So, Dr. Haslam, why is precision genomics so important to you? Well, I think it's important. It's important to me for a couple of reasons. So, first of all, um, it allows us to really understand more about the patient's cancer and and what they're dealing with. Uh, it gives us. It opens up a world of uh, different treatment options that may or may not be available to them. Helps us avoid uh, drugs that aren't going to work and and use drugs that are more likely to work. Um, I also think it's important because it allows patients to know that we're that we're investigating more, that we're that we're trying a little bit harder to understand the uniqueness of who they are and, and their situation. Uh, it allows us to individualize those treatments and be more precise with what we're doing. So you're essentially treating someone as an individual rather than kind of a blanket right. a blanketed approach right. as exactly. it has been in the past. Yeah. You know, and the other thing that's kind of cool about this is this is stuff that we dreamed of a decade ago. Right. You know, and now it's right here. And, you know, within within a couple of weeks, I can have all that information available to me. Whereas before, it just it w just didn't, didn't even exist. We were just imagining at that right. time that this was going to be uh, a position that we'd be in. So as a physician, have you had patients respond well to this? Has there been an example of, you know, a patient that's really responded well and moved forward in this treatment? Yeah, for sure. There, yeah, there have been several. Um, you know, first of all, as a practicing oncologist, I've been in situations lots of times where I've been able to, I've been, I've, when I've had to sit across from my patients and say, I just don't have anything else. Right. There are no clinical trials. I, I know you're feeling okay, but I just don't have anything else to stop your cancer. That's a really uncomfortable position yeah, to hard. be in. And so this opens up more options that way. Uh, I've had several patients that uh, have been in those situations, and we've done genomic sequencing on them, and they've it's revealed a mutation that we would not have expected in that particular type of cancer. And through different processes, I've been able to get them on a clinical trial or get them a drug, uh, sometimes off-label, uh, and, and they've had some dramatic results because of that. I can remember in particularly a, uh, uh, a gentleman in his 50s who had this metastatic colon cancer mm -hmm. that, uh, that I, we just, you know, he blew through all the standard right. treatments and similar situation. Um, I just don't have anything else to offer you, sir. And, and, um, and we said sort of, you know, hey, let's try this genomic profiling of your tumor. And he revealed that, that he had a HER2 amplification that we often see in breast cancer and started him on some drugs that target that particular alteration. And he had dramatic response. And uh, he lived an additional 18 months wow. and was able to be go back into his previous line of employment and take care of his kids. You know, and that was some very good quality time that he wouldn't have had otherwise. So what is that? I mean, you would have to imagine that does so many things for his family and his friends that are trying to take care of him and kind of planning essentially ahead of that. In conversations with your patients, how has that helped them? Yeah. Well, I think it just gives them extra hope. Right. You know, that, that additional hope that they uh, may ha may not have had. And certainly it doesn't work for everybody. Right. And, you know, I wish it did. Um, but uh, it gives them the idea that, hey, we're not leaving any stones unturned here, uh, that we're looking at all the possible options, and that there may be something else out there to help them out with their cancer. Great.